Hey guys, Tamp Tech, and if you have any kind of static that is in your headset, or you have poor quality sound coming out of your headset, or your charging cuts in and out, or your headphones that are fully charged just turn off randomly. I'm going to show you how to fix all those problems in this video. First, if you have any kind of static or distortion in your headset, what you could do is get an extended USB cable right here, like this one, and then you can plug in your PC headset transmitter receiver right into there and you can move it away from any kind of device that may cause interference like a wireless printer or wireless router and also the wall may contain electrical that can cause interference for your PC headset. Now if you have any kind of charging issues first thing you should do is turn off your headset. What I do is I get a, a thin q-tip like this one I got CVS with the bristle end and then I stick it in the micro USB charging port and clean out any kind of dust or debris that could be in there. But if that charging port is just really, really loose, you probably could get lucky and just solder the four ground points on the micro USB. Now if your headset sounds like crap, and has no bass, no treble, and it just sounds like really poor quality and you're disappointed in your $100 gaming headset, well, what you want to do is you want to download an EQ software. Now, you could download EQ software, but I really recommend getting the original software that came with the headset. I got myself right here, the Logitech Gaming software. This is basically the same thing as an EQ software. It has built-in EQ uh, equalizer right here, and I can either select it right here by clicking that and clicking that. It turns on the equalizer. Or I could turn off the equalizer and just adjust the bass this way as well. And you can notice right here, it's set to zero. Well, that's probably why I have no bass. I just crank it up a little bit, and now I can listen to my dubstep. Another thing you can do if you're not getting any audio, is you can right click the speaker, click on play uh, back devices, and then choose whatever device that you want to connect. Um, right here, my Logitech, I want to right click that, I want to test it and then set as default. Or what I can do also is if I have my Bose and I wanna use my Bose, I can right click that, connect, and I can set that as my default, but it's turned off right now. I have a Bluetooth uh, Bose speaker. And then hit okay to save. Now if your headset has a full charge and it turns off out of nowhere and you have to constantly turn it back on every like 15 minutes, what you want to do is go to device, manager and then you want to look up USB controller then open USB root hub open power management and make sure allow the computer to turn off this device to save power make sure that it's unchecked and you have to do that to all of them power management unche uncheck that and do the same thing to this one, power management. And this one is checked. So because I have it plugged into that particular USB port, that's why it's turning off. It's basically, it's trying to save power, so it's turning off the USB port. So let's go uncheck that, hit OK, and I just fixed my headset, so it won't turn off every 15 minutes to save power. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more videos coming your way, and share this video to anyone this video may help by clicking on the share button below, share it to Facebook or G+. Later, guys.